This guide shows you how to download and install Microsoft's Movie Maker and Windows Live Photo Gallery. Now both of these uh, uh, programs were discontinued by Microsoft in January 2017. However, whilst they can't be downloaded from Microsoft's website, an archived version can be downloaded elsewhere. So I'm going to show you how to download and install this. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to open up Microsoft Edge. So I double click Microsoft Edge. If your computer doesn't have Microsoft Edge, then you're not running Windows 10. You really do need to be running Windows 10 to follow this guide. Once Edge is opened, in the search or enter web address at the top of the screen, we need to type in there archive.org forward slash details forward slash WL setup minus all underscore 201802. There you go. I'll leave that on the screen for a couple of seconds. So it's archive.org forward slash details forward slash WL setup minus all underscore 201802. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. This page should load up. Scroll down, you should see Microsoft Windows Live Essentials there. And then by the download options here, we've got Torrent or Windows Executable. Move your mouse over Windows Executable and left click once. At the bottom of the screen, it says, what do you want to do with WL setup minus all dot XC 131 MB question mark. So we left click run. It now starts to download. Now this might take a while depending on the speed of your internet connection. Please be patient, don't try and stop it, just let it run. I'm gonna pause this video because as you can see, mine's gonna take a little while and we'll come back to it when the download is nearly finished. So once it's downloaded, it says, do you want to allow the app this app to make changes to your device. Make sure it says Windows Live Essentials, make sure the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, and make sure the file origin says hard drive on this computer. Then left click yes. Then it will ask you what do you want to install. So move your mouse over, choose the programs you want to install and left click once. So there's no point in installing Messenger because that is no longer supported by Microsoft and the service isn't running. Also Windows Mail here, that also doesn't seem to work on, uh, on the computer either. There, there, there are problems with some mail servers, so I'll untick that. And Writer, I must admit, I've never ever used that myself, so I'll untick that. So we just wanna leave Photo Gallery and Movie Maker ticked. Then we left, move our mouse down to install and left click once. It then says installing Windows Essentials 2012 and the green bar will go up the screen. It might take a while and at times it might look as though it's hung but don't worry it hasn't hung, um, just let it roll. Again I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to come back to it as it's nearing the installation because this part could take some time. So you might get this message come up saying couldn't install programs, couldn't install these programs, photo gallery and movie maker, an unknown error occurred. Error 0x800c0006, source UX platform lang. Okay, um, now as far as I'm aware this problem isn't actually a problem because it actually has installed Windows Movie Maker and I believe Windows Photo Gallery. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move my mouse over close and left click once. Okay, and then we're gonna close this screen down here by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. And then I move my mouse over the start button just here. And there we go, as you can see under recently added, Movie Maker and Photo Gallery have appeared. Now, if you can't see them under recently added or you don't have a recently added, just type Movie and there we go, it appears Movie Maker. And I'm gonna just, just try it, so let's left click on it once. And it asks us to accept the license agreement, so I'll move my mouse over accept and left click once. 
and there we go Windows Movie Maker has opened so I'm just going to try the same with photo gallery so I left click the start button I'm just going to type photo and there we go it comes up here photo gallery I'm going to left click this once now and yeah photo gallery also loads it asks us to sign in with our email address but again I don't think this service works so just click cancel on here this will come up every time you open up the computer up uh, photo gallery but just ignore it um, okay so there you go that's how to reinstall the defunct Windows Movie Maker and Windows Photo Gallery. Hope this guide helps.